had glaucoma mm -hmm. when you were little, right? I still have it to you this day. You still have it? Mm -hmm. It doesn't even look like you have it. So. Yeah, that one pupil is smaller than the other, that's how. Okay, so have you done anything to help your glaucoma or help your port wine stain at all? Yes, I actually um, take out one eye drop in my one pupil for to make it smaller. And for my port wine stains, I take um, laser surgeries. I go under anesthesia, I um, I go on it and then they just put laser dots on my face and I don't mind it because but after I take the, they give me a, a out of the anesthesia, I would like, ask a hot towel right away because it hurts. I bet you have a big lunch too because I know yeah, I can't, I can't eat anything before midnight, after midnight, like, it's annoying. Make a snack afterwards. Yeah. A big snack and a hot towel. That's perfect. Yeah. So, is there anything that you do to relax before the laser treatment or the eye drops that um, you take? I put my eye drops, I put my head back, they put my parents put them in, and I don't need to do anything. I do, I mean, I am trying to learn how to put my eye drops in my own now, so, because I'm trying to get into the age where I have to start doing some of myself. My laser treatments, I, my mom and I, my mom brings me to a hotel, we order room service. We need to have fun. Cause it's like something me and my mom do for major treatments. Well, we used to do it when I was little, but now we need a job talking for my laser treatments and they just get me in and out that day. So mm -hmm. it's not really like, but I get, you, I used to bring stuff in more, but now I can walk in the laser treatment room all by myself. Like mm -hmm. I used to have the, the nurses and my mom come with me. So you're growing up, you're doing things on your own. Yeah. Yeah. How old are you? I was 13. You're 13. Okay, so you're in middle school, right? Yes. Yes. Um, what's your favorite part about middle school? Um, well, um, I just finished um, seven, so I'm going in the eighth. I would say everything was my favorite part of um, minutes because I got to learn a lot more about everything. I mostly the brain because that's like the one part I was really excited to learn about because I didn't know like inside the brain, my one part of my brain actually has stain on it. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I'm like you too. I have that little part of my brain. Yeah. And I didn't know that until I was about your age. Yeah. So. That's like so cool. Like I got to learn that. Like what the. Mm -hmm. Are there any friends that know about what you have? And oh yes, I love BFFs at school, like two, but they know I have this. And one of my BFFs asked a lot of questions. I'm glad to tell her about it. And my aunt was like, uh, you're asking too many questions. I'm like, no, she ought to ask. She's one of the people who wants to know about this. And I have two amazing best friends here too. Katie and Ka Katie is <laughs> Kali. Oh, I'm glad you found some friends here. Yes. So this, what's been something you've learned about having Sturge Weber? A I've good learned thing. a lot. I can't pick one. Everything is, you, the one thing I would say is the biggest around all everything is you are unique, this is you, and I would never get one of this first mark. I'm going to say that I'm not. This, this is me. This is how God I mean, maybe, and I'm not going to get rid of it, for me.